Hi, welcome to Jen's Creation Station. This is part one in the tour of my favorite tools. And I just want to note here that I don't have any sponsors. I don't sell any products for any companies. So all the things you see in this video today are just products I like to use in my craft room. I hope you enjoy the tour. Since my first video, I've been asked in a few emails about some of the tools I use when I'm crafting on my videos. So I thought I'd go through a few of them today. First, the rulers I use were not purchased at a craft store. In fact, nothing you see here was purchased at a craft store. These are Helix stainless steel rulers. They're great for blade cutting, like with a box cutter or a craft hobby knife. They have cork on the back. They do not slide around very easy once you get them on paper, cardstock, or chipboard. There's a 6 inch and a 12 inch. I think they also make an 18 inch but these are really good rulers and they've really held up well. The pencils I use are Pentel mechanical pencils. I've had these forever I think. Uh, I used to be a drafter for a large construction company and we work with blueprints and drawings and these were the pencils we used. I purchased these at a drafting supply store. You can buy the cheap ones at the dollar store, Target, Walmart, just about any of the discount stores. You can also purchase these pencils at office supply stores, the better quality ones. This is a 0 .5, 0 .5 millimeter, 0 .7 millimeter, and 0 .9 millimeter. This one is very thin, and unfortunately the lead does break easily, but it's great for very tiny marks. This is a medium one, and this is a little bit thicker, not quite as thin lined. They are, you can buy lead refills for them, which you can't do with the cheap throwaway ones you buy at Walmart. Like I said, I've had them for years. This is a Pentel eraser. It used to have a clip on it for a pocket holder, but that broke off, but it doesn't matter in my craft room. This eraser erases these pencils very well. The other pencil that I use in my craft room is a soapstone pencil. It's very hard to see. You can sharpen it with a regular pencil sharpener. It's very hard. This is shows up white and it's very wonderful for dark cardstock or paper. This also can be erased with this Pentel eraser. The other thing you can use to erase these marks off your paper or cardstock is a white eraser you can buy at the office supply store. The other thing I like in my craft room is my post-it note pop-up dispenser. They're kind of pricey, but to me they're worth every penny. Um, it just takes one hand to grab a post-it note. If you have a regular pack of post-it notes, you need two hands to pull one of those off. So when your hands get busy crafting, you can pull one off and grab a pencil and make a note about a size or a dimension, and it's really handy. Some of the other measuring devices that I use in my craft room are my two sizes of Omnigrid rulers. These are actually quilting rulers. I purchased them many years ago when I decided I wanted to learn how to quilt. I later found out that I was probably the worst quilter in the world. These are 6 inches by 12 inches and this one is 3 inches by 18 inches. They're my favorite sizes. Um, they look kind of funny on the back. I have little sandpaper discs that I put on many years ago to keep them from sliding around on my fabric and it works just as well for paper and cardstock. The other ruler I use is my Tim Holtz centering ruler. I like this one. It's an inch and a half wide. It's completely gridded down to an eighth of an inch. It's got eighth inch holes in it on this edge. This has a beveled edge and this has a metal edge. And you can use any blade with this anything from a craft knife, a rotary cutter, right up to a heavy-duty box cutter. I hope you enjoyed my tour of some of my favorite tools, part one. Watch for part two very shortly. And thanks for stopping by Jen's Creation Station.